Hello and welcome to DNT Technology Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the AMD Radeon 6870 Gigabyte Windforce Edition. It comes with a core clock of 915 MHz, which is 15 higher than the standard of 900. Uh, it has 1 GB of GDDR5. It supports Affinity and Crossfire up to two cards. Uh, it uses 151 watts at idle, 19. 151 watts at load, 19 watts at idle. Has three copper heat pipes with anti turbulence fins, which we'll show you in a minute. It is $200 on Newegg with $8 shipping with a $30 mail in rebate. Woohoo! So if you take a look here, a minute ago I mentioned that it has the anti turbulence fins. What that means is the uh, fins under this fan right here are going this way. The camera probably can't pick it up. The ones under this fan are going this way and so are the ones under this fan. So that way you don't have fans blowing in the same direction and I don't know how it's what it's supposed to do exactly because I've never I didn't realize that was ever a problem but it, it cools it really well like it usually runs in the mid 60s tops whenever it's under load so it gets its job done. If you look right here it has uh, two six pin connectors they face out this way so you don't have them right here with your uh, connectors jamming into your hard drives or anything. Got this blue circuit board which looks pretty nice with a blue color scheme. Uh, it's got three copper heat pipes, one here, here, and here. And between this GPU and your fins you have a uh, vapor chamber, which is pretty much gigabyte standard in their Windforce cards. And on the back we have a dual link DVI, a single link DVI I think, uh, an HDMI port, and two mini display ports. And now we will put it into the computer and benchmark it. We would just like to point out that uh, on the top here we have the 6870 and the bottom here we have the 6970. They look extremely similar. It's the same size PC board. Everything just looks very similar. That was one thing I actually had as a kind of a con because typically your 6870s are only going to be about that long. And this one is extended a pretty good amount to where it's the same size as the 6970. But if you have a full tower case or a big mid tower case, it shouldn't make too much difference. Oh yes. So we just wanted to point that out. Right. And now we'll actually benchmark it. Alright, so we have the video card installed in my computer, which has the Phenom 2 965 running at 4.4 GHz with 1.55 volts. You're gonna run 3D Mark 5 and 3D Mark 11. We still run uh, 3D Mark 5 because one of the main reasons you build a computer instead of like, I don't know, PS3 or 360 or something is because you can go back and play all of your older games with pretty much total backwards compatibility. So if you're not going to play the newest games, you might want to know how to do like older stuff. Right. So. Plus, it's it's still a good benchmark. Yeah, it's still a good benchmark. Yeah, it still gets the job done. But we're also going to run 3D Mark 11. Yeah, we're also going to run 3D Mark 11 because everyone wants to know how it does in DirectX 11 and everything. Right. So. We're just going to sit back and skip this part because you probably don't want to watch it. Alright, so we just finished running 3D Mark 5 and now we're going to check our results. Trim, 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 trim this area. We get 29,242. Yes, that's pretty good. Yeah. And CPU score... That's actually not much less than the 6970. Yeah. And CPU got 31,384. You just, you just like to show that off, don't you? Oh. Yeah, it's a Phenom too. The fact that it's you know, running at this speed is kind of amazing to me. And now it's time to run some 3D Mark 11. And we'll go ahead and just go ahead and cut to the end because you guys probably don't really care about this part. 
Alright, we just finished running 3D Mark 11 and we came up with a B-score of 42.69. Um, we think there may be some kind of issue, so we'll probably run it again later and... Yeah, we'll just revisit this. The yeah. ...result the second time after we try to get some things, but... For now, that's what we came up with. This just seems abnormally low for yeah, this. Yeah, because it, it was only a flight. It was 1,600 points lower on 3D Mark of 5, which was, like, barely a 30th lower. Yeah. That's almost 20% slower. Yeah. The, so we think there's something screwy there. So yeah. There so shouldn't be that big of a difference. We'll run it again just to see if that has any difference. But, uh, yeah.